In a stunning and unprecedented revelation, scientists have announced the discovery of a planetary body that could challenge everything we know about the cosmos. NASA, long renowned for its groundbreaking missions, revealed that this celestial object is extraordinary, not merely because of its size or position in the solar system, but because it emits light patterns that appear almost artificial in nature. While the scientific community approaches such claims with cautious skepticism, the data from this object has sparked fascination and debate unlike anything seen in recent memory. Could we be witnessing the first signs of alien technology, or is this a natural phenomenon so rare and unfamiliar that it merely appears artificial to our eyes? To explore these possibilities, we must look back at one of NASA's most remarkable missions, the Dawn spacecraft launched in 2007. Its mission was audacious in scope, to study two of the largest bodies in the asteroid belt, Vesta and Ceres, unlocking secrets from the earliest days of our solar system. Dawn's journey was powered by revolutionary ion engines, allowing it to travel farther and maneuver with unprecedented precision, far surpassing the capabilities of conventional chemical propulsion. After a successful 14-month orbit around Vesta, where Dawn captured high-resolution images of craters, ridges, and colossal mountain ranges carved over billions of years, the spacecraft set off on the next leg of its journey, to Ceres, the largest object in the asteroid belt. Ceres itself has a long and fascinating history. Discovered in 1801 by Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi, it was initially classified as a planet, then an asteroid, and finally reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006. With a diameter of roughly 950 kilometers, 590 miles, Ceres is massive enough to be nearly spherical and contains more than a quarter of the mass of the entire asteroid belt. Yet, despite its proximity, Ceres remained enigmatic, shrouded in mystery for centuries. Dawn's approach in early 2015 changed all that. As the spacecraft drew closer, increasingly detailed images began transmitting to Earth. What had once been a blurry speck of light through telescopes was now revealed as a rugged, cratered world, its surface sculpted by billions of years of impacts. But amid the dark, rocky terrain, something immediately stood out, bright, glowing spots, particularly concentrated inside a massive impact crater called a cater. These luminous patches reflected sunlight with such intensity that some observers jokingly compared them to artificial lights on a distant planet. The initial explanations were varied. Some scientists hypothesized that the reflections were patches of ice, glinting in sunlight. Others suggested metallic minerals or unusual surface conditions. But as dawn closed in and resolution improved, the mystery deepened. These were not camera artifacts or optical illusions, they were real, persistent, highly reflective deposits. Detailed spectroscopic analysis revealed the bright areas were rich in sodium carbonate, a type of salt commonly associated with briny water. This discovery pointed to a remarkable and unexpected possibility. Liquid water, or at least briny slush, may have once reached the surface and could still exist in some form today. As it sublimates in the vacuum of space, it leaves behind the shimmering white deposits that caught our attention. The process responsible is a form of cryovolcanism, in which instead of molten rock, the material expelled from the interior is a mixture of water, salts, ammonia, and other volatiles. Such phenomena are exceedingly rare, observed only on a few bodies in the solar system, including Saturn's moon Enceladus and Neptune's moon Triton. On Ceres, however, the evidence is compelling. The Akater crater became the focal point of intense study. Within its boundaries, the most prominent bright region, dubbed Spot 5, contains a central dome surrounded by cracks and salt deposits, suggestive of a cryovolcanic vent. But the mysteries did not end there. Dawn also detected faint, hazy exhalations, thin, transient mists appearing at specific times of day possibly the result of ongoing sublimation from underground sources. If true, this indicates that Ceres remains geologically active, 
an astonishing finding considering that most small bodies are thought to have long lost their internal heat. How can such a small body maintain this activity? The answer may lie in its composition and history. Ceres is not a simple rocky asteroid. Its surface contains water ice, hydrated minerals, carbonates, and ammonia-bearing clays, compounds suggesting formation farther from the sun before migrating inward. Ammonia lowers the freezing point of water, allowing salty brines to remain liquid even in extreme cold. Geophysicists now believe that Ceres has a layered interior, with a rocky core surrounded by a muddy, icy mantle. Brine pockets may occasionally rise to the surface through fractures, especially following impacts, sublimating rapidly to create the reflective spots observed by dawn. The implications are profound. Ceres is not merely a frozen rock, it is a dynamic, potentially habitable world. On Earth, extremophiles thrive in subglacial lakes, deep ocean brines, and acidic hot springs, environments once considered inhospitable. Could microbial life exist, or have existed, in Ceres' hidden brine reservoirs? This discovery forces a reconsideration of where life might arise in the solar system. For decades, scientists sought Earth-like planets with oceans and atmospheres. Now, attention is shifting to icy moons and dwarf planets, where subsurface oceans, geological activity, and complex chemistry may provide unexpected cradles for life. The discovery also challenges planetary evolution models. That a small body like Ceres can maintain activity billions of years after formation suggests that the processes governing solar system evolution are far more complex than previously thought. It forces scientists to reevaluate assumptions about heat retention, cryovolcanism, and the diversity of planetary interiors. And what about the glowing lights that appear almost artificial? While consensus holds that they are naturally occurring salt deposits, their optical brilliance continues to intrigue scientists and the public alike. It is a reminder that nature can produce phenomena that mimic the designs of intelligent life, blurring the line between the biological and the geological, the natural and the seemingly constructed. As the Dawn mission concluded in 2018, the spacecraft ran out of fuel and became a silent sentinel in orbit around Ceres, leaving behind an extraordinary legacy of data. Yet, the dwarf planet continues to captivate scientists. It is a world of bright lights, underground oceans, and chemical complexity, standing at the threshold between the lifeless and the potentially living. Whether life exists beneath Ceres' surface remains unknown, but one thing is certain. This small, unassuming world has reshaped our understanding of what a planet, or a dwarf planet, can be. It reminds us that the cosmos is far stranger and more dynamic than ever imagined. Every anomaly may hold a clue. Every reflective patch may hint at hidden reservoirs of water, chemistry, or even life. At Spaceloop, we continue following these cosmic mysteries. Every light in the darkness could reveal new secrets. Every mission brings us closer to answering the greatest question of all. Are we alone in the universe? Ceres, with its glowing spots and hidden depths, may yet hold the first answers.